Um, welcome everyone to um, Art at Gravely Barn and thank you so much for supporting this fantastic exhibition. You've been fantastic artists producing all this amazing work and you are going to help us raise a lot of money for three charities. Um, so thank you very much for coming um, to the private view and hopefully buying and spreading the words to your friends to come and look at it over the weekend and everything. The work is amazing and um, every time we put this on I'm just amazed at how fantastic each canvas is and has so much art going for it so it's very important to me the art side um, and also to spread the words about the different kind of charities that we're raising money for. I'm not going to say too much about those because we're very lucky tonight to have some people from each of the charities. And um, I'd like to introduce you to Ashraf Patel, who has become a really good friend and um, he does some very important work. And really, I admire you so much for that and for the kind of charity uh, work that you do and fundraise for your unit. So could I introduce you to Ashraf, please? And um, he will tell you a little bit about the work that he does. Jane, Glynis, uh, Chris and Ian for, and all everybody else in the committee who's been involved with this uh, exhibition for so many years. I believe this is the eighth year and we as a charity have been lucky that uh, we have made it to the short list in five of the eight years. So we have benefited immensely from this uh, exhibition. So thank you to all involved with uh, organizing this uh, event every year and thank you to all the artists who have put, put so much time. Uh, having been doing this for many years, uh, I've been a breast surgeon at I've been a breast surgeon at St. Margaret's Hospital and Princess Alexandra Hospital for over 31 years now. And uh, over that time, with all help from various people, we have raised over 5.5 million. And all this money has This money is used to fund clinical trials, specialist equipment like the mobile screening units and then also we are using to have health and well-being pro uh, programs for patients going to breast cancer. So all this requires a lot of support and a lot of uh, fun from the local community. So thank you for your help. Thank you. We're also raising money for the Samaritans and Chris is actually going to give you a little chat about that. And we are raising money for the Oracle um, Head and Neck Cancer Fund. And Kevin, in a minute, will just give you a little chat about that too. So, Chris. Um, yes, I, 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 we're raising money for Samaritans. I, I've been a Samaritan for four years. And I've got a few Samaritans here today. And um, I don't know if you know much about the work that we do. But we're here 365 days a year, 24 hours a day, receiving calls from people who are going through difficulties in life. Just like to say that it's not all about suicide. The suicide is only a very small part of the work that we, we deal with. It's people with lonely, with problems, and sometimes you just want to talk at three in the morning and can't sleep. I think probably all of you might know people who have been touched by the sort of work we do. Uh, it's all voluntary. They were a wonderful team. I, I'm based in Ware in Hertfordshire, uh, but we've got sort of branches all, all throughout the country. And we basically depend on donations. We, we get very little from the, from the government. So it's events like this that are very important to keep the branches open. There's information down the end there, uh, if you'd like to look at that. But all I can say is thank you very much for everybody supporting us, helping to raise money for this and the two other charities. And please look around if you want to buy anything. Just know that all the money raised goes to charity. So thank you for everybody for coming along and joining us tonight. Oracle, which is the third charity that we're raising. Um, 
good evening everybody. Thank you, Jane, and Chris for having us. Um, <clears throat> this is the first time I've been to this event. Um, I've just started at Oracle uh, Head and Neck Cancer UK as head of fundraising. Um, <clears throat> Similar to what Chris and Gus Samaritans were privately funded. Um, <clears throat> we do work with the NHS uh, on a range of product, uh, projects. Uh, the main thing that Oracle is doing is um, we have four pillars. So research, so head and neck cancers are prevalent. Um, you may have heard the latest um, publicity over the HVP. Um, uh, what's the word for it? <laughs> the HVP um, inoculation uh, measures that um, they're trying to introduce among young people uh, in order to stem cancer in later life. So we're doing research on that area. Um, so Oracle has four pillars. Um, I'll keep it short, Jane. This is one good one, not one night. But we do we're doing research, we're doing awareness. Perhaps most importantly, we're doing collaboration. So working with other charities and the NHS. And um, we want to have somebody that's been affected by cancer. Um, so the experience of the patient is, is the other major pillar. So race, R-A-C-E. Um, I'm not going to take up any more of your time. It's always lovely art to look at. Uh, but if anyone would, would like to speak more, and I hope you do, we've got a couple of posters dotted around that Jane's kindly arranged. And is that okay if I ask you to forward my email yeah, address? So Jane has my email. Direct any any question whatsoever related to head and neck cancer, uh, I can promise you a speedy and quick and accurate reply. Thank Thanks everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.